I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast Voyager Class Optimus Primal and I love this toy. Released in the spring of 2023, this figure is brand new and starting to hit store shelves right now as of the time of this recording in preparation for the upcoming Rise of the Beasts movie. It is a Voyager Class figure and retails for approximately $33 and this is one that I have been hunting for feverishly ever since I found Optimus Prime because I know they're packed together. I keep finding Optimus Prime, but not Optimus Primal. I have been hitting every store every day just trying to find this figure. I finally found one last night. Really, really excited to finally get this guy. And I have to say, not disappointed. Not disappointed at all. This is a fan fantastic figure so let's start out by looking at the packaging real quick so this is the new packaging that we just saw this has just recently been introduced for rise of the beast it's it's nothing really spectacular it's the same packaging that we've been getting for every other line over the last couple of years it's just redeckled right so we still have the same box it's open there's no window in there the figure comes packaged in robot mode and it's just kind of tied to the background right there but other than that it's the outside of it the actual print that's been changing you got a new Transformers logo. You got the green and the kind of that that um, a foresty kind of a theme to it. Optimus Primal right there in his gorilla mode. Optimus Primal, Transformers Rise of the Beast. Screenshot of Optimus Primal on this side, just roaring and looking real angry. Voyager class. On this side, it's just kind of a continuation of that picture right there. That screenshot looking really cool. Maximal logo. Authentic Transformer, as if you didn't know. <laughs> and uh, product shots of Optimus Primal in his v in his robot mode and in his uh, beast mode. The colors look very different on the back of the packaging than they do on the figure. There's a lot. It's a lot more kind of a copperish or gold tone on the box. Uh, he's a little more monochrome in uh, in hand, the actual figure, but it actually works better, I think, in the silver tones and the monochrome tones than it does here. But that's about it really for the packaging. You get the figure, you get the sheet of instructions, and you get these uh, two... Uh, are, are, are we still calling these scimitars? What are we calling these? <laughs> Whatever his two weapons are. And you can mount these to the back of him, uh, as you would expect. So he does have two slots back here. There are two tabs on the actual swords that you can tab right there if you want to do that. So that's that's something that you can do in both modes for both the Beast and the Robot mode. You can do that right there. We'll go ahead and set them off to the side uh, for the time being. Here in his Beast mode, Primal is approximately 5 inches long and approximately 4 inches at the top of the head right there. And yeah, he looks really cool. I really dig this design i am not disappointed at all um yeah he's a little monochrome but that's because that's the way he's gonna look in the movie i wish he had a little more color to him um i okay i don't wish he had more color to him i hope that we get another version of this figure a repaint of this figure maybe with a little more og beast war colors just to have that variant i'd love to see this figure in the or in the old beast wars colors with the whites the reds and the blues but i also like having this figure that's going to look the way he's going to look in the movie if that makes any sense just checking him out i mean he looks like a silverback gorilla. He, I especially love the proportions for his body and his leg, the way that the back arches and then the legs just come straight down like that. Um, it looks really, really good. You do see he is a techno organic um, <laughs> gorilla. So he's not, he doesn't look like a, like a real gorilla. He looks something a little more techno organic. So you do see uh, fur on a lot of parts, but you also see kind of robot parts. You see kind of like this robot spine back here, robot bits. So there's a mix of both techno and organic, which I think is really cool. But the molded details are just absolutely fantastic. The fur is really detailed, looks really cool. Love that head sculpt, and I love those deep blue eyes right there. I don't know if that's coming off on camera, but he has like this light blue paint on his eyes that's like really piercing. It looks really 
really nice articulation wise they're gonna have about the same articulation in both modes um so the legs can move back and forth here you have a little bit of side to side wiggle on the toes but not much i mean for gorilla mode you're not gonna do a whole lot of posing with him in gorilla mode you can kind of stand him up a bit but he's gonna look a little awkward but you can do it let me see if i can balance him just right it can be done he's gonna look a little awkward i think he looks best you know, down on all fours like that. Uh, as you can see, the head can tilt up and down. It can also turn side to side. The arms can go in and out, forward and backwards, all the way around. Uh, you can rotate at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and rotate at the wrist right there. Nothing really, I mean, he does have a waist rotation, but that's more for transformation and robot mode than it is for the beast mode. So, yeah, there you go. There is Voyager Class Optimus Primal from the movie in his uh, gorilla mode and for comparison real quick here he is with kingdom optimus primal so you can see the two of these together and these are both very similar figures the transformation is similar there are some bits that are going to be a little bit different from one to the other but uh, overall uh it's it's if you if you're familiar with this figure and uh, you're going to be familiar with this figure and if you like this figure you're going to love this figure right here i just think I, I i'm just so giddy i'm not disappointed with this figure i absolutely love it transformation for primal is really neat again if you're familiar with the kingdom version you're going to be very familiar you're going to see a lot of very familiar things here so let's start out with uh i guess we'll start out with the arms just go ahead and straighten these out and then we're going to take the shoulder pads here and we're going to move them up they don't move up as far as i would like i think i mean they do move up and that's fine, but I think they would look better if they moved up further than that. And again, I don't know if that's just because that's how he's going to look in the movie. But I think it would have been cool if these moved up a little higher. So that's that's really kind of it for the arms. We'll just go ahead and move those out of the way. We'll work on the legs right here. So we'll just open up these two flaps here. Bring the legs down and straighten them out right there. you got that double hinge right there. So we're just going to straighten this out. Bring down both legs. Straighten those out and rotate him at the waist so you want this butt flap here elevated because this flap here from the front is going to go under this flap right here and then you can just bring that down we're going to take these panels right here we're going to open these up and then the robot foot is right in there so you want to make sure you've got this lined up just right so that you can reach in here and bring that down close this up and then reach underneath here and open up his robot toes i love that i love the fact that the robot foot actually goes all the way inside the leg and completely hides away when he's in beast mode that is definitely something new for a primal figure and i think it should become standard <laughs> because that's really really well done i bring the head down now for the chest the chest is going to come forward just a tiny bit and split in half so you want to kind of pop this forward like so and then just kind of split it in half and it's going to go all the way out like that take this robot chest right here bring this down it's on a hinge but this hinge is also on a slider you see the light gray piece right there that's on a slider so you want to slide this all the way out like that and then here you have the two heads so we want to take this whole armature right here that's got the two heads pop this forward like that rotate it around to swap heads out and then push it back in Take the gorilla chest and we're going to close this back together and then push it back to clip it in place. And then we're going to bring the robot chest up and we've got tabs down here and up here that are going to go into these slots here and here. That's all going to tab together right there. Get them all nice and straightened out. And there is Optimus Primal in his robot mode standing at approximately six and a half inches tall so he looks really good he stands tall he's a good size really really pleased with this figure and i absolutely love this sculpt i love that head sculpt for him that is so neat let me see if i can zoom that in for you guys absolutely love that head sculpt right there check that out he does have some light blue paint in the eyes as well i don't know if my light or my camera is picking that up um yeah, he's got that, that dark or gunmetal gray for the head with some light silver details. You got the crest here in silver. You got the mouth plate there in silver. I love that they gave him a mouth plate instead of uh, the open mouth, which also would be cool. I think it would be cool to have him with the open mouth as well, like, like the original one did. Uh, but I, I love my mouth plates on my primes. What can I say? Um, 
Uh, going all the way around, you got the uh, details there on the chest. You got a Maximo logo right there, right in front of the collar, right there. Nice mechanical details there for the chest and the legs. The arms carry over some of those organic details in the fur, so to the side of the legs, but you also got new robot bits. I love how they got like little robot bits inside of the arm right there. That's pretty cool. And just kind of going all the way around. The back really didn't change a whole lot. It's really more the front. He just stood up straight, changed his chest, uh, turned his legs around, and changed his head. And that's about it. Um, and it's very effective. Uh, you know, just a few simple changes make a for a very effective change from a, from a gorilla to a robot in two very different looking modes, I think. Absolutely love this. Now, again... I know that this is how we're, he's going to look in the movie. We've seen previews of him, so we know that he's pretty monochrome in the movie. So I like it because it does look like the one in the movie. We've got the grays, the gunmetals, and the silver details. I like that. But I would also love to see a repaint of this figure done in the colors of the original um, uh, Optimus Primal. With some of the whites and the grays and the reds and the blues. A blue head on this guy with some blue details on the chest and some reds here and there. I think would look awesome. Just as a second repaint, you know, I'd be, I be—I will throw my money at it. I have no problem with that. But there you go. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And again, that's pretty neat. Absolutely love the way that looks. Articulation-wise, the head can go side to side. Not all the way around um, because of the uh, armor here. So he can go to the side about that far. He can look up and down just a little bit. Uh, the shoulders are the same. Forward and backwards all the way around, in and out, rotation at the bicep, bend at the elbow, rotation at the wrist. Um, if you lift up the butt flap, you've got, you got a waist rotation now. Legs are ball jointed, can go forward that far, back about that far, in and out, rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee again. Uh, yeah, good bend at the knee. The legs, or the feet rather, can uh, they got ankle tilt. They don't have really any up and down. Well, you can use a transformation joint, I guess, for a, for a toe bend, I guess. That kind of works. Um, but it kind of does break it up a little bit. And you have a little bit of ankle tilt. Not a whole lot, but enough to give them a good uh, dynamic pose. So, yeah, very cool looking right there. We'll bring in his swords or scimitars or whatever you want to call them. You can store them on his back, again, just like we saw for the Gorilla Mode. You can do that there. It does look like he's got two blasters over his shoulders, which is pretty cool. You can, of course, take them off, put them in his hands. I guess I should note, uh, articulation-wise, the, um, the hands do not open and close like the Kingdom Virgin did, uh, which is weird. I, I wonder why they left that out. Uh, but there you go. He can hold the swords in his hands. You can also just plug them both in to one hand. And do that with them, which I think is awesome. And that looks really, really good right there. So we've seen him with Optimus Primal. We'll do one more comparison. And here he is with his Wavemate and movie counterpart, Optimus Prime. So you can see what the two of them look like together. Both of these figures came out of nowhere for me. I was not expecting to like them as much as I do. And uh, both of these figures are fantastic. The only minor gripe you can give either one of them would be the paint. And this guy, not so much. Again, I think he looks the way he's going to look in the movie. Um, this guy definitely needs some more paint. But these are really good, uh, fun, and interesting figures. I really, really like him. And I think that about does it for the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Voyager class Optimus Primal. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.